G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, it's Monday afternoon here in Australia, so sort of, you know, getting close to Monday morning stateside time, and the market is down $2.64 trillion. So still under the $2.7 trillion, but look, we're down than less than a percent. So are we gearing up for something really good at uh, the break of the market? I think possibly so. But I'll also get into where I think the market's going to go uh, towards the end of the video. There's not a whole lot we're going to cover today, but we'll have a look at the markets. Just uh, one new story uh, project, an NFT project that I got into, and then I'm going to give you my uh, thoughts on where I see the market going, at least in the kind of midterm, short to midterm. All right, Bitcoin dominance down a little bit, so we're under 44%. Not a lot of volume. Again, that's to be expected on the weekend. BTC price under 61,000. Again, it's really ranging between kind of, you know, 59, sort of 62,000 thereabouts. And ETH gas price has come down just a little bit as well. As we can see, it's a mixed bag. Some things are doing good, like Solana's had a bit of a pump. Shiba Inu, I mean, just keeps going. But, you know, again, be very, very careful with the meme coins. It's not that you can't make a ton of money you absolutely can but you can get wrecked really easy and we're going to speak about that uh gonna have a look at a story about that very shortly but what's done well in the last 24 hours in the top 100 because that's what i like to focus on i mean look at that holo 19 percent rune thor chain 17 percent uh kadena 16 percent xfin uh 15 percent nearly 16 percent you know quantum i mean look at this there's some really nice gains there we are having a mini altcoin season at the moment. I don't think it's the altcoin season, but we are definitely having an altcoin season. Now, I'm never going to give you financial advice, but I would think about possibly taking some profits here, if, especially if you're kind of well in profit. Unless you're holding for much longer, then fine. But otherwise, if you're you know, trying to kind of time the market and all the rest of it, and look, that's easier said than done. I'm not taking any profits at the moment. I don't need to, but you could if you wanted to. And the reason I say that is I get the feeling like we're about to top out in the very short term. I think the market's going to do what people are not expecting, uh, and I'll get onto that when we go back to the and have a look at the Bitcoin chart, but I just get the feeling like we're going to top out. We're going to have a pretty severe dump. Not, I don't think it'll be 50%, but it could be pretty close to uh, in Bitcoin, and then we're going to start pumping back up. It won't be the bear market that everyone's thinking of. But look, that's just my opinion. Now, this is what's done well, what hasn't done well in the last 24 hours. So there we go, Mana. I mean, they had a big pump. You know, they were up 100 and something percent. So now they're down 20%. Basic attention. Engine, again, had a really good pump. Sandbox, Chili's, all these NFT, Metaverse kind of plays. Theta, Axie Infinity. You know, all those kind of plays had really good days. And so now they're having a bit of a retracement. That's pretty much stock standard. I mean, Matic got up to like a $2 something, now down to a $1.90. Don't get me wrong, I don't think it's over. XRP's just really stuck around that kind of dollar range. And look, that's fine. It's a, you know, possibly a really good accumulation zone. We'll have to wait and see. Now, before we get to the Bitcoin chart, we'll have a look at some stories. Right, investors were rug pulled after pouring $57 million into dog-themed Olympus Dow Fork. This is why you got to be careful in this space. Again, everything is so experimental and so new and there's lots of scams out there and, you know, this is one. But this is what worried me. So here's one of the story. Uh, here's one of the things you have to look at. So after launching via a Discord channel on October 28th, Anubi Anubis Dow went on to raise roughly 13,000 Ethereum using Alchemist Coin's liquidity bootstrapping protocol, Copper. However, the funds were unexpectedly sent to a different address roughly 20 hours into it. 20 hours, almost straight away. It was, a, you know, it became obvious it was a scam. Now, one investor claims to have lost almost $470,000 worth of Ethereum. Now, here's what worries me. He was attracted to Anubius Dow because of its canine-themed branding. That shows that, you know, people are investing stuff and not doing any research whatsoever. Now, again, Shiba Inu, look how well it did. And, you know, Doge, look how well it did. But look how hard they retraced. And, you know, simply going, well, I'm just going to throw some, you know, kind of crazy money into anything dog-themed, thinking that it's going to automatically do well. This is what happens. So to any of my, you know, listeners out there, 
hey, I'm not saying you can't make crazy money. Again, there's that story getting around. Someone put $8,000 into Shiba Inu back in August last year, and they now have six billion, that's B, not million, billion worth of Shiba Inu. I mean, that is crazy. You know, whoever that is, I hope they take a billion of it because, I, again, the story going around is they're still buying more Shiba Inu at the moment. And, you know, hopefully they're right, but I'd take a billion out straight away. Uh, again, unless this was just one really smart investor who, you know, a billion's nothing to them. I don't think there's too many people out there that a billion's nothing. I would have took bare minimum of a billion out, and then you can let the rest run, and who cares? But anyway, just be very careful. Yes, the again, those kind of gains can be made, but they are they're rare. That you know, that's that doesn't happen often. Not those kind of gains. You don't have to take the super dangerous plays to make good money in crypto. But to make those kind of gains, yeah, unfortunately you do. But hopefully the 470 that this person lost, 470,000, you know, wasn't too much. But they did go on to say uh, that it hurt them a lot, you know. Yeah, just silly. But anyway, I hope that person can come back. And this is why you need to be careful. Now, the only NFT that I ever bought, Crazy Skulls, did their Halloween drop. So if you got into Crazy Skulls, you had to have three, and what's going to happen is you will get three Halloween cards. And then those three Halloween cards will turn uh, give you a NFT mummy. So your crazy skull can turn into a mummy. So this happened a few hours ago. You, did, you don't have to do this straight away, but again, you need to have three crazy skulls to be able to get the mummy cards. Otherwise, every skull just gets one of these Halloween cards, which is also one of these... Uh, nuclear uh, container things as well uh, and they can do sorts of things and they're being traded on open sea and things like that but if you're in the crazy skulls you have two weeks to mint this so you didn't have to do it straight away because of the gas prices and that wait for a time where the gas prices are low and then you can simply come over and get it done so crazy skulls with a z dot com this is where you're going to come and get it done. So again, this is the only F NFT that I ever bought. I did buy three, so and it wasn't because I knew it was going to be like this. It was just pure luck. Got three, so now when the gas fees are down, uh, and they are down a little bit now, I think they might get a little bit cheaper. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to go and mint my cards, and then I'm also going to go ahead and mint my uh, mummy NFT. So anyone who's in that, I would suggest you go and get your uh, cards. They don't cost anything other than the gas fees. And look, the gas fees aren't cheap at the moment. So again, just look for times where the gas fees are pretty cheap. But uh, Crazy Skulls, I'd have a Crazy Skull very similar to this without the hat. Uh, and he has the Bitcoin eyes. That's my favorite one. But the other two are still pretty good as well. I like them. I just like the one with the Bitcoin eyes. Uh, so there you go. Crazy Skulls. If you're on board, uh, go ahead. Have a look to get your Halloween card. You've got to mint it for the price of gas. The actual cards themselves don't cost you anything. But you can buy the cards uh, on OpenSea. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now, what I think is going to happen with the Bitcoin price. First, let's have a look. We can see this is a double top at the moment. We're kind of ranging down here, like I said, down around sort of 59, 58-ish thousand, and we get up to about sort of 62,000. You know, we had uh, a peak, and we had a low, and now we're ranging. Have a look at the time, though. It's 5.50 in the morning, stateside time. So we're really waiting for Monday morning, 8 o'clock or 9, 10 o'clock, whatever time the market's open, to see what the theme is. Are we going higher, or are we going to stay low, uh, continue to go lower? Here's what I think is going to happen. Everybody is basically saying this is going to play out exactly like it did last time. November's going to be crazy. We're going to go 100,000 plus, and then that's kind of the blow off top and maybe up to two, 300,000. I think Bitcoin's going to pump from here, and we're probably going to get to around seventy to $75,000. Everyone's going to get super excited, and we're going to have a correction. And look, it might not be seventy to seventy five thousand, it might be between eighty thousand and eighty five thousand. I just don't think Bitcoin's going to get to a hundred thousand. I think too many people are expecting it. I think we're gonna get up to somewhere around kind of seventy five ish thousand, maybe eighty five thousand, but I think more seventy to seventy five. 
and then we're going to see a big correction and I think we're going to come back down into here into the $40,000 range. I think it's going to really scare everyone. It's going to shock everyone. They're going to probably panic sell and think this is the bear market. It's only going lower. Now it's going down to 15000 or 12000 and then it's going to start to make its way back up again. And then I think it will be much, late, much later, i.e. sort of middle of next year to maybe even late next year where the, two, where the true top uh, comes. Now that is not financial advice. I just don't see this market playing out the way everyone thinks it's going to. Markets almost never do that. When too many people are expecting something to happen, it doesn't happen. And everyone is expecting this to go mental uh, into sort of December, maybe early January. And again, then they get that blow off top. I think we have a big correction before then. And I think it comes around sort of 70 to 75,000. It may push out to sort of 80, 85,000. But I think somewhere around about there, we get a big correction. Everyone's going to say, that's the bear market. And again, look, it could come down right down to here, maybe even down to here. I think the 40 to kind of 30 ish thousand dollar level and look again it might even be down here it might come back and retest something like this i don't think so i'm thinking more somewhere around about here Thirty-eight thousand is where i'd expect it to come down to just to scare everyone maybe wick down a little bit more and then it starts to pump up and the actual bull run doesn't come till much later in 2022 again maybe march june maybe even sort of you know november next year that is my thesis. So what am I doing at the moment? Am I selling now? No, because it could be wrong. And I don't want to sell now to find out it only goes higher. But what I am doing is I'm not dollar cost averaging anymore. I already have a really good crypto portfolio. If I don't dollar cost average anymore until, you know, whenever the bottom of the next bear market is, I'm going to be just fine. But what I am doing is just leaving all my cash on the side should this be right? Should this get up to 75, 85,000 and then come back down and retest somewhere around about here, 38 ish thousand? Look, maybe even, you know, 28,000 somewhere around about there. I'm going to have plenty of cash on the side to get in. But I don't think that will be the end. I think it is going to be not the double bubble that everyone's seen. I think it's going to be like a triple bubble. Again, it's going to be something different because too many people are expecting it to be the same as previous times. That rarely ever happens. Rarely will you see things play out exactly the same. It'll still be something similar. We're going to have a blow off top. It's just not going to come in December when most people are thinking. I think in November, again, 74, 70 to 85,000, somewhere in between there, I think we get a big sell off. And we come back down and test these 40, 30K levels. Again, maybe even really low. And we get back down to here. I don't think it's going to there. I think it's going to be more somewhere in and around the 40 to $38,000 level. And then I think we start to make our way up again because the whales want to get you to panic sell. Again, never financial advice. I would never give you financial advice. And again, I'm not telling you to make any decisions either way. I'm not selling. I don't believe this uh, top that I think we're going to get, you know, again, 70 to 85,000 is the top top. I think it's just going to be the sell off to shake everyone out before things then move and move even higher again. All right, that's it. That's my thought process. You know exactly where I'm in, what I'm doing. You've got to make your own decisions. Don't simply blindly listen to anyone. The one thing I've learned uh, from all my time looking at crypto and just investing in general, it's not just crypto is your decision is your decision uh, you know for me and again never financial advice you got to do you but i don't know anyone who's got rich by letting someone else handle their money it just it doesn't happen it does not happen if you've got someone else handling your money they're going to take the most conservative route and there's nothing wrong with that at least it's safe but they're also going to take a percentage of that they're not doing it for free so really, the people who want to get rich, you got to go out and learn. And I'm not saying everyone should handle their own money. Absolutely not. Some people are just terrible with money. But unfortunately, they're unlikely to ever get rich. To get rich, you need to take that initiative and learn. Get out there and learn everything about, you know, number one, money, finances, how to invest, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then once you've done that, you're probably going to have to take charge of your own money. But that is not for everyone. But unfortunately, the sad fact is, yeah, if you have someone else handling your money, 
you, you're very unlikely to get rich. It's not impossible, but it's very unlikely because if someone else is handling your money, the last thing they want to do is take any real risk. They're going to play the safest bet they possibly can, and that means lower returns, but also they take a piece of it. So you're going to get average returns, what everyone else is getting, and you're going to get uh, a percentage of that taken because no one's doing it for free. That's the sad facts of life. That's the realization that I've come to. So now I handle my own money. Um, you know, it's not to say I'll do that forever, but I need to try and get myself into a position where I'm not just going to be the average person. So I've had to take some risks that the average person just wouldn't uh, wouldn't have happened for them if someone else was handling their money. Now, again, that is not financial advice. I am definitely not saying you should do the same thing. I'm just saying if you think you're going to get rich by someone else handling your money, it is highly unlikely. You need to go and get educated if you want to change your financial future. And that is anything but easy. But that's the way, that's the way it is. And anyway, moving on. I think we get to, again, somewhere between 70 and 85,000. I think we have a big dip, come back down to the uh, low 40s, high 30s, uh, scare everyone, make them think the new bear market is now in and everyone was wrong, and then it starts to make its next way up. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you've all made some good profits. Might not be a bad time to take some, but that's never financial advice, and I'll see you next time.